Welcome to the Agents Advisor. My name is Joe Morris. I'm your host in today's afternoon webinar. We're going to be discussing cross-selling in the senior market. It's the win-win senior solution. Today's webinar will be going over how to cross-sell in the senior market when you're working with a client that's aging in to Medicare. And we're going to take a side-by-side -side comparison look at the Medicare supplement versus the Medicare Advantage sale. And we're going to talk about extra products that will fill the gap such as hospital confinement, dental vision and hearing, critical illness and cancer, short-term care, as well as final expense. So let's go ahead and dig right into this. Grab a, a pen and paper, take some notes. You'll have questions, and I want you to reach out to me after today's webinar. My name is Joe Morris, and I'm with The Agents Advisor. You can find us on the web at theagentsadvisor.com. Also, you can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and our Advisor TV channel on YouTube. So be sure to friend us, um, like us, connect with us, and subscribe to our channel. So today we're going to talk about the cross-selling opportunities we have in the senior market. Uh, this program was created a few years ago by me, and I'm excited to share it with you today. So let's go right into it. So what happens more times than not when our clients are aging into Medicare? What types of coverages are they typically coming off of? They're typically coming off group benefits, such as medical, and the medical plans they might have had were high deductible plans with high out-of-pocket maximums. If they were part of the Affordable Care Act plans, aka Obamacare, you know that there was high cost involved in terms of premium, in terms of out-of-pocket exposure, and those high deductible health plans are a lot different than what they're getting ready to enter into. They'll also have um, group type benefits for dental, vision, life, possibly short-term and long-term disability. In addition to these group benefits, they might have had voluntary group benefits. More times than not, they've had these other coverages offered to them from other companies, worksite benefit companies. And those plans might include accident, cancer, critical illness, term life, universal life, and retirement plans. So when we look at the senior plans, the senior medical plans, they too have gaps. With some senior medical plans, whether they're on original Medicare or a Medicare Advantage plan, they could have annual out-of-pocket maximums, such as hospital confinement copays, out-of-pocket expenses for inpatient or outpatient, or for treatments such as radiation, chemo, physical and occupational therapy, skilled nursing, home health care, assisted living, etc. Beyond the medical coverages and the gaps in those medical plans, there are other needs, such as funeral and burial expenses, unpaid medical bills, other financial obligations and final expenses uh, later in life that are associated with uh, the plans that they have come off of or could be going into. When you're sitting with your client and they're talking to you and they're saying, I'd like to look at what my options are now. I'm getting ready to go on Medicare and I want to see what's available to me. I think it's a really good tool to use a benefits review form. There's various fact finders and various forms out there. Um, I particularly like this review form when you can sit down with your client and go over step by step the benefits review form. When you can ask them, do they have a Medicare card? Do they have a Medicaid card? Do they get low income subsidy? Many times you may not know, but the person sitting in front of you as you're explaining what they're eligible for and qualified for they might be receiving Medicaid or a low income subsidy. You want to ask them these questions simply because you want to find out what they have now. Have they even enrolled in their Part A and Part B? Did they, are they getting Medicaid or low income subsidy? Ask them, do you have a Medicare Advantage card? Do you have a Medicare supplement in place now? Do you have the card? List the company. Um, what drug plan do you have? Any prescriptions you pay or that are $50 or more per month? Do you have any co-pays with your health plan? Do you have an inpatient coverage, outpatient coverage within it? Uh, recovery care? Do you have cancer benefits not covered under your plan? Do you have a standalone cancer plan? Do you currently have dental and vision and hearing benefits? Maybe do you have long-term care, short-term care or home health care benefits? Many times your client won't know the answer to this unless they've actually bought a standalone policy to cover these. If they haven't, this is a great fact finder for you to find out what they do have or they don't have, but you're also giving them an opportunity to hear about 
what they should have. Now, when you're with the client, there are CMS rules about what you can and can discuss at time of appointment. This benefits review form is to be used before you even get into any Medicare Advantage discussions or Part D prescriptions coverages uh, or plans and you're comparing them. This is really right before you get into that. So you can ask if you've not already gotten into the Medicare Advantage discussion, do you have a will or trust or estate plan? Are your CDs, annuities, or 401ks protected from probate? These are types of questions that really are fact finders to find out what your client does have or doesn't have or what they know or don't know. But back to the medical plan. There are basic expenses associated with any medical plan, uh, whether it be ambulance copays, durable medical equipment, coinsurance, hospital confinement copays, whether it be um, any other gaps in the plan. What I have found is there are a number of plans that can fill the gap on the out-of-pocket exposure, whether it be on a high deductible plan F, whether it be on a G or an N, but if they're just taking original Medicare and not doing a supplement, they're still going to have out-of-pocket exposure. I have found that there's a product by GTL called Advantage Plus. This product provides cash benefits to help cover expenses associated with daily hospital confinement, ambulance trips, cancer, outpatient surgery, skilled nursing, and durable medical equipment. The reason I like GTL over and beyond the other plans that are out there, and there's a lot of good ones, I like this product simply because it's guaranteed issue at age 64 and a half to 65 and a half. I like this plan also because they will cover hospital confinement if your client has been hospitalized, meaning in the emergency room or in for 24 hours or more, whether it was filed as an admission or observation. Simply put, they will pay for observation. So if the, the example is your client goes to the emergency room, they keep them overnight, but they haven't technically admitted them. They're just keeping them overnight for observation. The Advantage Plus product by GTL will pay for that observation and benefits will pay as they normally would if it was an actual admission. So I like that about this product. When you look at coinsurance expenses such as outpatient surgery, radiation and chemotherapy, durable medical equipment, any out-of-pocket maximums that you might have built in the plan, there's ways to fill in those gaps. What I like to do is I like to look at a critical illness plan and, and I like to teach on this simply because if your client has a cancer or heart, stroke, hospital indemnity, or accident type plan, critical illness plans are really good about offering lump sum benefits in the event that they do have heart attack, stroke, or cancer. There's built-in benefits such as wellness checkups, consultation benefits, lump sum, and daily hospital confinement, radiation and chemo, and chemotherapy drug benefits built into some of these plans. But the plan in particular that I like covers cancer, heart and stroke, and accident, hospital indemnity, all within a plan, and it's a la carte, and it's the Washington National Active Care product. This active care product, what is really unique about it, and we have to think in terms of underwriting, right, um, and rates and ease of use and how do you enroll it, how do you file claims. What's interesting to me about the active care product of all the critical illness products out there, they're the only one that has a true five-year look back that I've seen. And it's very good from the standpoint when you compare it to other plans that have seven and 10-year look backs. So with only a five-year look back, your client could, be, could have had cancer six years ago or a heart attack or a stroke, and they would qualify for the active care product. Secondly, what's really unique about this product they don't have a family history question, meaning that most of the other plans ask, do you have a family history of cancer, heart, stroke? The active care product doesn't. Another unique feature I like about it, it's a la carte. If you have a client that actually had cancer four years ago, but they haven't had a heart, heart attack or a stroke, they can still qualify for the heart attack and stroke benefit under this plan. And the same as in, in reverse, if they've had a heart attack or a stroke, but yet they've never had cancer, they can qualify for the cancer benefit. 
So with this product being a la carte, with this product being um, face amounts or lump sum benefits anywhere from 5,000 to 100,000, this product is a great solution to fill in the gap on those out-of-pocket exposures that you might find on a high deductible plan F, uh, maybe on an N, uh, certainly on original Medicare with nothing else. But more importantly, what's sold more than anything is the Medicare Advantage plans that have the out-of-pocket exposure. This is a great product to throw in a $5,000 lump sum to cover in the event of a cancer, heart attack, or stroke. For dental, vision, and hearing benefits, uh, many of your customers want dental, vision, or hearing benefits. Depending upon what plan they go on, some of those benefits might be embedded in a Medicare Advantage type plan, but certainly not on an original Medicare or Medicare supplement. So typically what you're doing is you're selling them a standalone plan, or if you're selling Medicare Advantage, you're just checking the box on the application to add dental benefits for $36 a month. Well, what I recommend is looking at a standalone dental vision and hearing plan because it's number one, it's portable. No matter year after year during open enrollment when they change their Medicare Advantage plan, they can keep this plan in place and all the while, all those benefit waiting periods will be gone by over the time they've kept this plan. And for you as an agent and advisor, you're making revenue off the sale of this standalone plan. So most plans don't cover the coverage. If they do, it's basic coverages. There's always a network-based type scenario where they have to go to a select group of dentists. Um, but clients want cleanings and basic services and restorative. They just want coverage and they want it at a good price. Vision, same thing. Hearing benefits, depending upon the Medicare Advantage plan you choose, Sometimes there's built-in hearing benefits in it. Sometimes there's not. Certainly there's none of that when you're looking at a Medicare supplement. So the dental vision and hearing product is a great add-on, and most of your clients are looking for it. I like the Medico product. And if you're in the state of Kentucky, Medico's product's not available, but Central United Life, that product is. It's offered by the parent company Manhattan Life. So if you're in Kentucky, uh, I would recommend the Central United Life product. Now, when you deal with skilled nursing, assisted living, home health care, many of you know that it may or may not be covered by Medicare. You have to be in the hospital for three days, show signs of improvement before it's covered. In the event that you're looking for a standalone plan, the, the, the benefit of a short-term care type plan is there's no long-form underwriting. It's not expensive. Um, it, your client doesn't get outpriced on the long-term care product with a short-term care product. This short-term care product covers skilled nursing, assisted living, home health care. They have daily benefits that range from $100 to $300 per day. You can select an elimination period, zero days, 15, or 30. And you can choose either a four-month, eight-month, or a 360-day benefit, just short of a 12-month benefit period. The application is accept, reject, underwriting. The policy is issued in two to three days, and they are affordable rates. So to give you an example, Medico's recovery care product, it's a short-term care product. When you look at the sweet spot, comparing to what Medicare may or may not pay for, the sweet spot on this plan is $150 per day, zero day elimination period. The four month benefit for a 65 year old is around $44 a month. The eight month benefit is around $77 a month and the 360 day benefits around $115 a month. That there is a great talking point for your client to talk to them about what Medicare may or may not pay for in terms of skilled nursing, assist living and home health care. And when you look at that type of product, I encourage you to look at the Medico product called Recovery Care. I'll make sure you get a form sent to you on that. Now lastly, when clients are looking for Um, rounding out their benefit options. So you know where they came from, typically a group style plan. And those group plans, they typically have built in a 10, 15, 20, sometimes $50,000 life insurance policy. But when they leave the group plan, they lose it. So my recommendation is to always show your client a life insurance proposal on a final expense plan that would help them cover funeral and burial expenses, any unpaid medical bills or other financial obligations they might have. And you can choose death benefits that range from $1,000 to $50,000. There's several products that uh, you can offer them with issue ages 0 to 85, 
simplified underwriting, whether it be level, modified, or graded. Most policies are issued quickly in two to three days, and there's great commissions in it. Now, there's a number of carriers that we recommend. I've always talked about the Americo product. The Americo product that I've talked about is a product that you all might have heard of before. If not, it's the Ultra Protector Series. They have a unique niche in the market. If um, you're looking for some impaired risk markets, other companies like Transamerica is good, uh, Foresters is good, but I'm showing today the Americo product. We can always look at the others on our website under our final expense quote engine and find the best fit for your client. If you're really into the impaired risk market and you're looking for a product that will be a guaranteed issue, I like the Gerber Life product. Gerber Life has a great product that you can um, help your customer with and they go up to $25,000 on face amounts. And this product that with Gerber Life um, is guaranteed issue, no health questions, uh, and it's really competitive. I also recommend the AIG guaranteed issue final expense product. And we can get into that later. But between those two, that's a product you want to have in your um, briefcase, in your portfolio to help your clients that are looking for that, especially the impaired risk market. So now let's take a look at the Medicare supplement opportunity, the sale, and how it typically looks. So now that we've discovered and we've shown our client everything they're eligible for and they qualify for, and we've gone over these different plans because you and I have selected what's the best fit for most of our clients, we can look at the typical Medicare supplement sale. So on the typical MedSup sale, if your client enrolls in a Plan F, the average annual premium typically is around $1,500 a year. And with an average comp of, let's say, 20%, and I know that varies by state. Some states, you know, their lower comps like 17, 18%, some are 21. But I'm using for today's illustration a 20% comp, a commission rate on a $1,500 premium is around $300 of average annual premium comp. On a Part D drug plan, and they all vary in price, as you know, and if you don't know, they do vary in price. But if we just said that the average Part D was going to be $50 a month or $600 a year and they're new to Medicare, you're going to get an average commission of $71. If they enroll in a dental, vision, and hearing plan, the average plan is $36 a month. You're going to make around $150 in annual premium on that. The critical illness is $600 in annual premium. You're going to make about $270. Short-term care, $600 in annual premium, $270, and a final expense of $50 a month for a $10,000 face amount on a 65-year-old, you're going to make, on average, about $600. So if your client was to enroll in a Medicare supplement plan and enroll in everything they're eligible for and qualified for, they could spend $360 a month, and you would make just short of $1,700 in first-year commissions. Now, let's compare that to the Medicare Advantage sale. On the typical Medicare Advantage sale, if we got a plan with an average of a $300 a day hospital confinement copay, on the Medicare Advantage plan sale, typically you're selling a zero premium plan. The Part D is built into it. So in 2018 plans, the average new advanced uh, Medicare Advantage comp is 443. When you add in GTL's Advantage Plus, remember that's the product that's going to fill the gap on the hospital confinement copays, ambulatory copay. The average plan with a $300 a day hospital confinement, it's going to be around $35 a month. So if the annual premium is $405 and an average comp of 45%, you make $183. On a dental vision hearing, again, $420, you make $150, critical illness. You make 270 short-term care 600 you make 270 and again using these products to fill in the gap on the out-of-pocket exposure of the Medicare Advantage plan so your subtotals you can see here and then when you come back and you write the life insurance contract now again those of you who have been in Medicare Advantage you know about the 48 hour rule those of you that haven't been in the Medicare Advantage market there's a 48 hour rule CMS guidelines say that you cannot talk about any product that's not health related until 48 hours before or after. So either do it before you talk to the client and advise them or do it after. But the 48 hour rule 
is the rule. So however you do it, you, do, you make sure you follow the rules. And again, these products, I didn't say it earlier, I'm going to say it now, are all health products. These products can be discussed at time of appointment. When you're doing your scope of appointment, you can list these on your scope of appointment. Some standard scope of appointments actually have hospital, indemnity, and dental vision and hearing on them that you've discussed this with your client. Now keep in mind, when you're talking about critical illness, you want to make sure, and that's why I like the active care product, because it's a true health product. It's not built on a life insurance chassis to where there's life insurance benefits embedded in the product. It's a true standalone health product. So be mindful of that it's a health product, and the short-term care is as well. But if you were to enroll your client in a Medicare Advantage plan and enroll them in all the benefits they're eligible for and qualify for, your client could spend $219 a month, and you would generate just short of $2,000 in first-year commissions. So let's look at that side by side. Let's look at it side by side and see what, how it compares. So here we are. Here's the MedSup sale. Here's the Medicare Advantage sale. These are the benefits they're eligible for and qualify for. And let's just take a traditional scenario. Typically, your client will enroll in a Plan F with a Part D drug plan. They'll spend on average $175 a month, and you'll make on average $371 in first-year commissions. If they enroll in everything they're eligible for and qualified for, they'd spend $360 a month, and you'd make just short of $1,700 in first-year commissions. Now, let's compare that to the the Medicare Advantage sale. They can spend $219 a month, $219 a month, and you'll make just short of $2,000 in first year comp. Even if you compare this to a Plan F Part D sale, for an extra $40 a month, we'll say, $45 a month-ish, they could have all these great benefits virtually have out, no out-of-pocket exposure, actually have money if they go with a lump sum benefit on their critical illness, their short-term care, they can actually come out ahead by having all the benefits they're eligible for and qualify for, only spend $45 more a month versus the traditional Plan F or the Part D, but look at the difference in revenue to you and your agency. It's nearly six times, 371 versus 1916. That is impactful. That's powerful. Your client can be within $219 a month and you can make nearly $2,000 in first year revenue versus what you have maybe been doing and that's just the plan F with the Part D. Now, will all your clients enroll in all these plans? No. But 30% of your clients, on average, from what we've seen in our analysis, 30% of your current clients will enroll in these type of benefits once they're properly explained to them and they understand the value in them. That's why I call this a win-win senior solution. Your senior is going to have a better benefit plan, very much similar to what they might have had on their previous plan under a group plan where they've had the traditional group products and all the voluntary offerings being offered. But you now can bring that forward for them Show them where they've been, where they are, and where they're going to be, and show them all the benefits they're eligible for and qualify for, all the while making an affordable option for them. The benefits to you as an advisor is by offering these additional coverages to your client. You can see your clients more often by selling them year-round these other benefits. You add value to their coverage. You reduce their out-of-pocket exposure. Subsequently, you're going to increase your product persistency and client retention because the more products you have with the client, the longer they stay with you. You're also going to stay more productive and efficient, meaning you're, when you're able to sell something every day, every week, every month in the off-season, if you're a true traditional Medicare producer, and you're going to increase your weekly, monthly, and annual revenue. It's a win-win scenario and it's guaranteed growth to your business. I find this impactful. And I can tell you that if you get in the exercise of showing your client everything they're eligible for and they qualify for, explaining the value of the benefits, knowing they won't take it all, but at least you're telling them up front, here's everything you're eligible for, here's everything you qualify for, 
and ask them what's most important to you, what's least important to you. Enroll them in their plans and help them through the process. If they have claims, help them process the claims because when they start getting the benefits out of the plans they've enrolled in, they're going to see the value in it, which is going to increase increase your value proposition as an agent and advisor. And it's going to help you grow your business, all the while protect your customer. Now, if you have questions and you're ready to get started today on these types of products, if you'd like more information, give us a call at 877-886-4829. You can email us at info at theagentsadvisor.com, but always visit us on the web at theagentsadvisor.com. I'd also encourage you to like our Facebook page. The Facebook page is theagentsadvisor.com. Also, or you would put on your Facebook just The Agents Advisor. I also encourage you to connect with us on LinkedIn under The Agents Advisor. And I'd like for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is called Advisor TV, where every Friday we record live out of our studio in our office. We record live um, two segments. One segment is the week in review, talking about what happened that week, what's going on in the marketplace. And then the second segment is a guest interview with the who's who and what we do. Anything that's vertically integrated to help us grow our business as agents and agencies, we bring on a guest to talk about their product or the service or a business how-to. And it could be as simple as simple as how to develop a social media presence, um, how to market, how to um, what to say to sell, or more importantly, is as basic as a product update. So I encourage you to check us out on the web. Go to theagentsadvisor.com, navigate our website. Be sure to look at our resources tab. That's the who's who and what we do. If you're just getting into this marketplace, there's never been a better time for you to get teamed up with us to help us grow your business. Our goal is to empower independent insurance agents. Um, I've got 25 years of doing this, and I've been working with agents all over the country, and it's a lot of fun for us and myself to help you grow your business. As always, thank you for listening today. Thank you for tuning in. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Make it a great day.